All right. Hi, everyone. Welcome to this pick a card reading. So today's reading is about where is this connection going? We're also going to look at where has this connection been, where it is currently, and also we're going to look at the total outcome of this connection along with a few other things in this reading. So I've got three decks to choose from today, but not piles. So deck number one is Amethyst. This is the Ethereal Visions Tarot deck. Deck number two is Clear Quartz. This is the True Love Tarot deck. Deck number three is Lapis Lazuli. This is the Rider White Tarot deck. So go ahead and take a few minutes, however long you need, to decide which of these decks you want to pick. Use your intuition and we'll see, you know, where this connection with this person is going. And like I said, a few other things. So, yeah, pause the video if you need more time to decide. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and start with pile, well, with deck number one. The timestamps will be in the description and in the comment section. <clears throat> so, let me burn some sage real quick. <clears throat> All right, so hello to everyone who chose deck number one, Ethereal Visions Tarot deck and Amethyst. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and begin shuffling <clears throat> the deck. This is a spread, so I'll be shuffling then laying out the cards and then I'll go through the cards and explain to you with what I'm seeing. This is a general reading, so please only take the messages that resonate. If the whole thing doesn't resonate, possibly choose another deck here. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and continue shuffling. Okay, so on the bottom of the deck, as kind of like the general energy here, we have the Fool. So with the Fool, the Fool talks about, you know, new beginnings, jumping into something head first and just having a lot of faith and also trust. You know, the Fool is about trusting, you know, mainly the universe here to, you know, make things work out for you and, you know, having that faith so you can start new things, new beginnings here. So I feel like with this overall energy, you know, there's an energy of wanting to have new beginnings here in this connection, to start new things, to have faith in this connection and trust, you know, maybe in the universe that this connection will go where it's meant to go or work out a certain way here. So yeah, let me go ahead and lay out the cards. Not sure I'm going to have enough room to really put them all out perfectly, but yeah, it works. So let's go ahead and start. So the first card is the primary concern for both of you in this connection. We have the Ten of Cups. Okay, so your primary concern right now is definitely... You know, about having a positive, happy connection with each other. You know, just being really happy together. If you are together in a relationship, you may even be married. Or if you're not together, then the primary concern for both of you would be getting together. <clears throat> sorry if I'm going to be... I'm, I'm probably going to be clearing my throat a lot, so sorry about that. But yeah, so having happiness with each other, happy romantic connection here... Yeah, the Ten of Cups is really all about happiness and success in regards to, you know, this connection in regards to this relationship here. And so, this is a challenge. So, both of you guys, this is your challenge in regards to this connection. We have Nine of Cups. 
So for the both of you in this connection, one thing I'm getting, one challenge could be you're both focused on personal success. And with this Nine of Cups, yeah, it's about independence, being happy, maybe, you know, like focusing on your career and their career. You know, both of you may see this as a challenge as, you know, you either value your independence here or you just have, you know, personal goals that you need to achieve, that both of you need to achieve here. So maybe if that doesn't resonate, then also with Nine of Cups, a challenge could be just, you know, having, well, both of you having the kind of dreams, the kind of vision you have for this connection coming true. You know, you have some kind of idea of how you want this to go and they have some kind of idea of, as how they want this connection to go. And I feel like it's both, you know, for the both of you into a very happy, positive direction. And maybe, you know, there's just something that you want to happen and they want something to happen that's just not quite happening. And so it's a challenge here, you know, for both of you to make your dreams come true in this connection. You know, there's just something that for some reason you both feel like you can't, you know, achieve here. And so, yeah, now let's go on to where this connection has been in the distant past. <clears throat> so we have Six of Wands. With Six of Wands here in the distant past, you definitely were feeling successful in this connection in the distant past. There was some kind of success here that made you both feel like, you know, things are going well. Things are, you know, looking up. You're achieving things here in this connection in the distant past and in the recent past where this connection has been four of cups so recently in the past maybe this connection has felt you know a little bit stagnant possibly even boring for some of you because maybe there has been nothing happening in the distant past sorry in the recent past because you know someone here either you or them or both of you weren't taking an opportunity in this connection you know an opportunity to make something happen here you know maybe to take action to you know have to make this connection exciting here but yeah the four of cups talks about really not much going on in the recent past and then in the present where this connection is currently oops we have the magician so with the magician here yeah I feel presently there you know either is action you know there's actually action happening here or presently in this connection, you both want there to be action if maybe presently there's still, you know, not much going on. But yeah, the magician talks about action, talks about creating things, manifesting. Presently, maybe you're focused on manifesting something here and the other person may very well be too. Also focused on manifesting something with this connection. The magician, you know, I'm not reading reversals here. So one way that the magician could also be read in reverse typically is how I read it. But as more of a, you know, focused, like, not necessarily selfish, but more focused on themselves. So, yeah, one of you here, even both of you could be, like I said, you know, if that resonates with you, that the challenge is, you know, independence, focusing on personal goals here. That may be where it is presently, you know. You're both focusing on yourselves here, focusing on personal goals but yeah, it's just a few different things I was getting with the magician. Like I said, take what resonates. And so where this connection is going, we have King of Pentacles. So I'm going to pull some clarifiers here for this, since this is the main question here. So this is where this connection is going in the near future, by the way. So let me go ahead and pull some clarifying cards just to get some more information. Lots of cards fell out there.
Okay, so lots of cards came out for where is this connection going in the near future. So the main card we have here is King of Pentacles. And so as I've been saying, I feel for a lot of you here, there definitely is someone here or both of you who is focused a lot on their career, on their money, like I said, on personal goals, personal success with the Nine of Cups being here. And then for some clarifiers, um, let me see where I want to start here. I do see that, you know, with retreat here, it definitely may be that, you know, for some of you, you are, you know, still in a period of no action here. And so, you know, somebody or both of you have retreated because of this focus on yourselves or because just some other reason maybe. Or if you are in a relationship, it could be that, like as advice to retreat together and spend some time alone. That could be one thing. But yeah, that's what I'm feeling with the retreat card. But with this card even being here, I think that with TikTok and with higher power reversed, in due time, I think that things will really start to come together here. I think that, you know, if you're in a relationship or not, you know, maybe if things between you two aren't really going where you want them to, aren't really, you know, whether there's nothing happening at all or whether just what you want to happen isn't happening, I think that will start to change, like I said, in due time here. I think it's a lot about patience and a lot about having trust, having faith here and knowing that like attracts like, you know, if you long for more love, be more loving, to be more loving maybe to this person, to yourself, just in life in general. So you can attract more of that, you know, from this person specifically. And I do think you will. I do think in the near future, there will be an opportunity here that I feel will finally be taken. Like an opportunity will be taken here. And like in the recent past where there were opportunities being offered to you or to them and nobody was taking them. I think an opportunity will be taken in the near future here. And we have ask for help. So this could be, you know, about asking for help from this person maybe or asking for help from like people around you to support you here to give you advice in regards to this connection. But yeah, I do think that's just a little extra advice here, a little extra thing that may be helpful is to, you know, learn to ask for help, you know, that it's okay to ask for help, ask for what you really need here. And then we have the heart of the matter. So there is more going on than meets the eye. So I feel this is about, uh, there's more going on in this connection that I feel is, you know, kind of divinely guided, kind of happening because of a higher power here. And I think, I might even read this from the book. I think it really is advice to trust, to have patience that things will start moving here. There will be, you know, new opportunities here to improve this connection and to really keep an open mind to what those opportunities may be and to, you know, stay open-minded about, you know, like I said, divine timing, you know, spirit having, you know, a lot of influence here on where this is going. Maybe be open-minded about asking for help, you know, that sort of thing here. And so let me see what the higher power card says in the book because I feel like it's pretty relevant here. Um, so all right, I'll read it. So now is the time to examine what you are giving energy and attention to in the back of your mind. If you're obsessing about being right, about old resentments or failed expectations, about money or about any other people, places, or things, these will be the source the source from which you create. But you want spirit to be your source. Take heart for your higher power will never desert you and is always waiting for you to remember this sacred partnership you share. Turn away from other sources of power that don't serve your highest good. There is no greater source than spirit. You can always surrender your troubles and trust they will be taken care of. You are in good hands. So yeah, I think that definitely connects with, you know, like it trucks like trying to, you know, be more loving, maybe shift your pots and sorry, shift your thoughts into more positive thinking. Sorry, I really messed up my words there. 
and I might even read TikTok here. I really like the messages from this book. So the relationship message, love, the fulfillment of desire, and even the body's reproductive cycles have their own timetable. Some things are preordained and cannot be co- co- sorry, coerced. Everything has its season, its divine and appropriate timing, especially when it comes to matters of the heart. Remember that you always have enough time for love to find it, to nurture it, to give it and receive it. Its clock is eternal and ticks according to the beating of your heart in perfect rhythm. Isn't that wonderful to know? Love is always right on time. So I think definitely what I was saying with this card, really trusting the universe here that things will move forward. There will be opportunities here in this connection. You know, maybe once either you or both of you or this person, you know, kind of reaches the success they're wanting to see and maybe career, maybe money or really anything else. And that, you know, you'll soon attract, you know, these opportunities or this person will have these opportunities and they'll take them in regards to this connection and things will really start to pick up, start to get moving more into a positive direction here. So, yeah, I think that's all I have to say with that. So let's go on to the next card. We have this card, which is how you see yourself in this connection, Wheel of Fortune. So yeah, kind of similar to these cards, even that I clarified this card with. Um, you see yourself in this connection as just kind of going with fate here. You know, maybe just allowing destiny to take you where you need to go here. And so, yeah, like I said, definitely it's important to have faith in, you know, spirit, the universe, you know, a higher power you believe in that you will be guided in the right direction and taken in the right direction in regards to this connection. And so, yeah, that's what I'm seeing with the Wheel of Fortune. And then how this person sees themselves in this connection. We have Ace of Pentacles. So, yeah, I feel for some of you, maybe that this is the person, this person you're asking about is the one who is... You know, focus on personal success here, on practical things, even, you know, achieving some kind of monetary success, success with career, you know, with this being pentacles. And also this person does see opportunity in this connection, you know, for, you know, commitment here. I'm definitely seeing for stability in this connection. They do see opportunity. The problem may be that they haven't, you know, taken it, but I do see in the near future, someone here is definitely going to take an opportunity, and it may very well be them if it's not you here, or even both of you could take an opportunity here, but they do, they do definitely see a lot of potential here with this connection, it just may be that, like I said, for, I feel a good portion of you, this person has their mind on personal goals, personal success here, and then your hopes or fears in regards to this connection. So with five of wands here, I would definitely say this is a fear. You may fear arguments, you know, fighting with this person. Or also with the five of wands, you may fear possibly that maybe there's a bunch of people, you know, fighting over over this person, for example. Like if you're not together, like there's other people who want to be with them or something like that. Another way this could go about is you fear that this person will be conflicted or you feel that you will be conflicted in your mind about this connection and because of that conflict like nothing really goes anywhere, nothing really happens because someone just doesn't know what to do, you know like no action is taken because of that conflict in their mind, the confusion. And so now we're going to take a look at the outcome, the outcome of this connection, Six of Pentacles. So with Six of Pentacles here, I feel there's going to be some give and take in this connection as the outcome. This outcome is based on the present, and so it can definitely change here. But with the Six of Pentacles as the outcome, I'm seeing for sure like a give and take here in this connection. You know, you're able to give and receive here. You know, the other person's able to give and receive with this connection, I do want to pull some clarifiers once again, since this is a pretty important card. 
you know, the outcome here. So let me pull some cards real quick. All right, so of these clarifiers for Six of Pentacles, once again, lots of cards here. And so with these cards, I'm definitely seeing an overarching theme here of forgiveness, healing, with rest and re relaxation, and also forgiveness. And Four of Pentacles here and Clean It Up Reverse. I do think that with the outcome in these cards, I think that the outcome will involve forgiveness, either forgiveness of each other for maybe something that's happened in the past between you two, or someone here or both of you has healing to do from past relationships, maybe not necessarily with each other, but with other people. And I think that that will, you know, happen. I feel like that will happen with time. At first, it may be difficult, but I feel... Someone may even be closed off because of that, but eventually they will open up. I feel like they will open up not only their heart, but also their mind here. And I feel like for the outcome, along with this giving and receiving, I feel like, you know, giving and receiving in the sense of, you know, a positive relationship here. You know, even, you know, getting married here, getting engaged, possibly moving in together here with Consider Your Foundation, and then physical touch. So I do think, you know, for the outcome, this connection will go into, you know, commitment here. You know, a higher level of commitment, like this card says, because of one of you or even both of you being able to open your hearts to the other person here and be open-minded here, release things from the past, heal from the past, and that will allow you both to be committed to each other, be in a positive relationship here you know, expressing yourselves to each other through, you know, words and through physical touch and just, you know, all of that stuff that comes with the relationship here. And so, yeah, I think really that's all I have to say for the outcome. Really beautiful outcome here from what I'm seeing with these cards. So, yeah, thank you so much for watching this reading. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe. That is all I have for you today. Bye. All right, so hello to everyone who chose option number two, True Love Tarot deck and the clear quartz on top of it. So yeah, this is a general reading. Please only take what resonates, leave what does not, and if the whole thing doesn't resonate, possibly choose another deck, sorry, <laughs> if you need to. But yeah, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to shuffle the cards here. I've got a little bit of a spread planned out, so I'm going to shuffle the cards, lay them out, and then one by one... We'll go through them and I'll explain to you 
what I'm feeling with the cards, what I'm getting. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and shuffle. Okay, so at the bottom we have nine of wings obsession so with nine of wings as kind of you know general energy here overall energy there's a lot of worrying going on here a lot of you know anxiety maybe even depression here about this connection so this may be either you or them or maybe even the both of you being very worried here maybe even obsessing over this connection in a negative way and just having a lot of bad negative thoughts about you know what's going on here or maybe just about like having fears about what what bad things could happen that sort of thing but yeah let's go ahead and lay up the cards and get started with the reading all right so First card is the primary concern for both of you in this connection. So we have the hanged man. So the primary concern right now, so for some of you, the primary concern may be that for both of you, you feel like this connection isn't really going anywhere. It could be that, you know, there's not a lot happening here, maybe because of separation or no communication, that sort of thing. Also, another primary concern here. Maybe if that doesn't resonate, or maybe if that does resonate, this could also resonate. Your primary concern here is for the both of you to look at this connection differently, to look at it in a different way, kind of change your attitude about it, see a different way of looking at this connection, you know, get a new perspective about this connection. And then we have the challenge that both of you feel you're facing in this connection. You have the Seven of Roses, courage. So... The challenge here looks like, you know, having courage to maybe fight for this connection or having courage to possibly stand up for yourselves in this connection. But yeah, I feel like the big one is definitely courage, you know, having the courage to fight for this connection, having the courage to you know, maybe work out some issues you're having or just courage to really, I'm, th I'm hearing fight for this connection. Or, like I say, you know, defend yourselves in this connection. You know, maybe defend yourselves to the other person, that sort of thing. But, yeah, let's go on to where this connection has been in the distant past. In the distant past, we have judgment. Interesting perspective. So, in the distant past, it may have been that, you know, you had a certain perspective about this connection maybe both of you did and you looked at this connection in a certain way and now you're trying to change that perspective and look at it differently than you were in the past also with judgment um it could be for some of you take it if it resonates in the distant past this person came back into your life or you came back into their life and it was like a past connection or you got together got back together in the distant past or in the distant past, you're reviewing the very, very distant past with each other, you know, kind of reviewing it, looking over it, thinking about it here. And then in the recent past, four of shells. Interesting. Same card as pile, well, as deck number one. I keep saying pile. Uh, as deck number one. For the recent past, yeah, feeling like not a lot is happening here. Feeling like you know, maybe even a bit bored in this connection because there's not a lot of action here. There's opportunities that haven't been taken to, you know, kind of maybe make this connection go in a certain direction to, you know, make things happen here. Also, four of shells, you know, maybe if that doesn't resonate, four of shells can be about, you know, contemplating, like this card says, reevaluation, just thinking things over, taking time out to maybe meditate about this connection, think about it over. Think about, you know, what needs to happen here, that sort of thing. And then for the present where this connection is currently, 
We have six of gems, generosity. So currently there may be an equal balance of give and take here, you know, like you're giving and receiving to each other in equal measure, or maybe this is what you want to happen in this connection, you know, where you both want this connection to be is where you're having a give and take, but you may not be, or you may be, you'll know for your own personal situation there. And then where this connection is going, we have the lovers. All right, so the lovers here. I want to pull some clarifiers since this is the big question here with this reading. So I'm going to shuffle the cards real quick. I have a few decks here. And then I'll talk about what I see. All right, so this is really good here. So where this connection is going in the near future, I'm definitely seeing with both the lovers and the union of hearts, I feel in the near future, this connection is going to be going into a place of a lot of love here. Maybe if you're already together, you know, just feeling very happy with each other, feeling like this is a very positive love connection, or maybe if you're not together, you know, even getting into a relationship with this person in the near future is where this connection is going. I can't guarantee that for all of you, but I'm definitely seeing that, you know, maybe if in, if in the near future you don't get together, maybe you will eventually, and there will just be, you know, this sense of attraction between the two of you. You know, you, you know, you know you want to be together eventually, and then we have playfulness. So yeah, a lot of fun. This card says to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. So just being playful with each other, really enjoying your time together, whether you get together or are together or not. And I feel like you're just going to be feeling very successful, the both of you here. You know, five of swords reversed. Maybe if there have been, you know, disagreements or issues, you know, conflicts in the past, those are definitely going to go away here. I feel like there will be a feeling of, you know, success here. And with truth be told, in the near future, there could even be, you know, a truth that is revealed here. <clears throat> and I don't feel like it will be, you know, anything bad. You know, the truth could be, you know, this person telling the truth about how they feel, you know, truth that you they like you. Or maybe you could tell them the truth that you like them or something like that. But just being honest with each other overall maybe telling a specific truth or just having, you know, very honest conversation with each other about really anything here. Just really enjoying your time together I'm seeing with these cards is what where this connection is going in the near future. So yeah, let's go ahead and go on to the next card. So this is how you see yourself in this connection. We have the moon fear. So this energy on the bottom may very well be your energy here. Because with the moon, this talks about, you know, having anxiety, fear, you know, feeling like there is, you know, unknown things here, maybe about this connection. And with truth be told, do be, do know that, you know, the truth will be told and I don't feel like it will be anything negative, you know, no negative kind of secret being revealed or anything like that. So that's nothing to worry about here. I feel that unfortunately me or unfortunately it may be something you are worrying about and just having fears about this connection for could be a lot of different reasons you'll know for yourself you know you'll know what kind of fears you're having what things you're maybe anxious about very worried about here in this connection and that's how you see yourselves here 
And then we have how this person sees themselves in this connection. Also, anxiety here. So I feel now this overall energy definitely applies to the both of you I'm getting here. Because at Five of the Gems in this deck, it has the word anxiety. It talks about, you know, feeling abandoned, feeling rejected. This person, you know, this may have happened to this person in the past, whether with you or with others. This may be something they also fear. You know, they have fears about being rejected, about being abandoned, abandoned by you, that sort of thing here. Also could be possibly even issues with money that they're going through currently. But yeah, I'm definitely feeling, you know, you're both going through having some anxiety about this connection, having some fear, some worries here, unfortunately. So now let's go on to your hopes or fears about this connection. Seven of Gems. So Seven of Gems to me can be a hope or a fear. In this deck, it does say frustration. So the Seven of Gems can be about waiting. It can be about waiting for something that you feel like is just not happening. And so it may be a fear of yours that you'll wait for something to happen in this connection and it just doesn't happen. And that'll make you, you know, frustrated. You'll be unsatisfied with that. And it can also be a hope that something positive will grow out of this connection in time here. If, you know, you're patient and wait for it. And then we have the outcome. So the outcome based on the present here, we have the hermit introspection. So I'm going to pull some clarifiers once again for the outcome here, since it is, you know, a pretty big card here, pretty big, I guess, I don't know, <laughs> pretty big question, I guess, about what the outcome is going to be. So let me clarify. All right, so what would be the overall outcome of this connection based on the present, based on where this is going to go? So here are the cards we have here. And so with Hermit, along with Mercury and Aquarius, strong air energy, air, sorry, strong air energy here. Possibly maybe one of you or both of you could be an air sign. Don't have to be though. But with this energy, it's a lot about thinking introspection kind of looking into your mind here and figuring out like getting some kind of clarity you know so you both know you know maybe what you want know where you what you want to do know where you want this connection to go that is kind of what I was seeing with the hangman here and even judgment in the distant past as you know and even for shells you know contemplating thinking about things and with why reverse yeah, I feel it is necessary. I feel it is necessary for, I feel both of you here to really be clear on what's happening in this connection, on, on what you maybe want to happen, on what you want to do, on where you want to see things go here. Really get to the root of things, maybe even ask each other why, you know, get to the bottom of maybe why you do this or why they do that, that sort of thing here. And I think that you know, as the outcome here, that's really what's going to happen. I feel a lot of contemplation about this connection. And I feel with that contemplation will come the decision to move on from things in the past, whether it be with this connection or um, other connections even that, you know, are causing the both of you to 
Unfortunately, being this negative energy of worry, of fear, of anxiety, I think moving on from that is what's going to happen. You know, you're going to both move into a more positive energy so you can enjoy this connection more, so you can, you know, have this joy, have this passion, so you can really consider each other, really enjoy your connection. I'm kind of not really paying attention to the message here, more so the image, you know, of just these two people. It looks like they're dancing, enjoying their time. Same thing here, you know. I feel that'll be the outcome is you both being able to enjoy your time together here, enjoy each other, and, you know, move on from the past, not be so focused on that, and, you know, figure things out here so you can enjoy things, so you can really I guess, understand this connection, understand each other more, definitely through communication with Mercury being here, and, you know, know why each other, why, sorry, why each other, sorry, I keep saying it wrong, to understand why each person does what they do, to, you know, understand that, you know, accept each other for who you are, and just be, you know, good partners for each other, and enjoy a positive connection without the past burdening either one of you sorry without the past weighing on you is what I'm trying to say and so yeah I think that's really all I have to say here for those of you who chose option number two the queer the clear quartz so thank you so much for watching this reading I hope you enjoyed it if you did please like comment and subscribe that's all I have for you today bye Okay, so hello to everyone who chose option number three, the Lapis Lazuli and the Raider White Tarot deck. So with this reading, please only take messages that resonate with you and leave the ones that do not. And if the whole thing possibly isn't resonating, choose another deck. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and begin. This is going to be a tarot spread, so I'm going to shuffle the cards and I'm going to lay them out. And then I'm going to go through them one by one and explain to you what I am seeing. Okay, so bottom energy here, we have the hermit. So with the hermit, it may be that, you know, right now, maybe both of you are alone, you know, possibly you're not with this person. Or also with the hermit it is about introspection, about looking within your mind here and really... Maybe, you know, working on your spiritual path or this person could be working on their spiritual path. You know, both of you could be doing that. And also introspection about this connection, really figuring out, you know, where you want to go in this connection, about you know, looking at the truth of this connection, that sort of thing here with the hermit as the overall energy. So I'm going to lay out the cards here. Okay, so first card is the primary concern that both of you have for this connection, Eight of Swords. So right now, both of you have the primary concern of, you know, maybe you're concerned about both of you or maybe just one of you being a lot in your head, a lot of negative thoughts surrounding one person or both of you here that's causing that person or both of you to feel like you know you're maybe hopeless helpless in this situation like you can't do anything about this situation about this connection and maybe that at this moment this connection you know maybe there's not a lot happening because of this energy because of someone or even both of you being afraid to take action here to you know make a move here maybe with the eight of swords here 
as a primary concern. And then the challenge here that both of you see in this connection, Nine of Pentacles. All right, so yeah, with the Hermit on the bottom and the Nine of Pentacles here, a challenge could be that one of you or even both of you here is very independent and is focused on themselves right now, their independence, specifically even their money, their career here with this being a pentacles card. And so, yeah, that may be a challenge to, you know, being together if you're not, or if you are together, maybe a challenge to, you know, I'm not sure, maybe like deepening your connection or something because of one of you or both of you focusing a lot more on yourselves, on your personal goals, similar to deck number one here as the challenge. Then where this connection has been in the distant past, we have the page of pentacles. So in the distant past in this connection, yeah, it could be same energy of, you know, focus on career here on money. Also could be in the distant past, there was some kind of commitment here between you two or some kind of, you know, messaging, offer of commitment, even page of pentacles can just be, you know, messages in general here in the distant past. And then in the recent past where this connection has been four of pentacles, lots of pentacles here. And so recent past, like I said, same kind of energy may have been one of you or both of you a lot focused on your money, on holding on to your money or on, you know, career, things like that. Also, Four of Pentacles can be about in the recent past. There was an energy of somebody blocking off their heart here, somebody or both of you, you know, just feeling the sense of being blocked off to the other person because of, you know, maybe fears, past issues, you know, these negative thoughts here. And then where this connection is presently, page of cups so presently in this in this connection there either is you know communication with this being a page communication that is you know friendly kind even maybe romantic here with the page of cups with page of cups presently this could also be about you know maybe if you are in a situation of no communication or things not really happening you know in the present you want things to happen this person wants wants things to happen here wants communication wants you know a start of relationship here you know a relationship offer that sort of thing and so where is this connection going in the near future nine of cups all right so i'm i'm gonna pull some clarifiers for this card since it is kind of the big question here so let's see where is where is this connection going in the near future i'm gonna pull a few cards All right, so where is this connection going in the near future? All right, so I'm definitely getting, once again, finances and career, money, you know, personal success here being of strong energy here as to where this connection is going. You know, whoever is focused on that, whether it be one of you or both of you, is going to continue focusing on that in the future. They're going to continue definitely, you know, taking opportunities in regards to this card says, embrace an opportunity for love in your work prospects or for spiritual growth. So yeah, work here, spiritual growth, like I kind of mentioned with the hermit on the bottom here. I also see with the star here reversed, a need to heal here. You know, definitely I feel for whoever's having these negative thoughts, whoever's kind of blocking off their heart here. Um, 
it needs to heal here being very prominent in the near future for this connection i do feel with the observer card and also the new love card i'm seeing in both of these cards stars and so i do think the nine of cups talks about a wish come true and so i feel in the near future there will be some kind of wish of yours coming true here with this connection i feel with observer here you've really got to watch out for it because i do feel like you will see it in the near future you will see some kind of wish you've had for this connection come true here and kind of come to you and also with new love here i do feel like with practice compassion i do think there will be a new sense of you know love here for each other a new sense of compassion for each other really yeah being compassionate understanding each other here being compassionate in regards to healing or being compassionate in regards to you know understanding someone is focusing on themselves for healing maybe for career and you know seeing things in a fresh perspective also is what the observer talks about you know, seeing things differently, seeing things through an objective point of view rather than a subjective point of view. Yeah, just basically looking at things in this connection objectively, I think, is going to really allow for a sense of like newness here, for a sense of new renewed love here in this connection in the near future. And so, yeah, I think that's really all I have to say for that. So, going on to the next card. We have how you see yourself in this connection, Four of Wands. So, you, so you see yourself in this connection as, you know, definitely really wanting happiness in this connection. You know, if you are together, wanting you know, a really happy, positive relationship. Or if you're not together, this could be about just wanting a relationship, you know, with this person. If you're not with them. And so, yeah, overall, you see yourself as someone who can definitely be a good partner to this person who wants a happy relationship, a successful relationship to, you know, celebrate each other here. And how this person sees themselves in this connection, Six of Swords. And so it may very well be that for a lot of you here, this person is the one who has some healing to do. Could be both of you, but I feel... It's definitely a strong energy in this person with Six of Swords coming up as how they see themselves. They see themselves as, you know, trying to move forward and away from, you know, negative thoughts, away from bad experiences in their past that may cause them to possibly, you know, be the one that's blocking off their heart, to be the one who's unable to take action here maybe because of fears, because of, you know, maybe low self-esteem even. So they see themselves as healing currently here and then your hopes or fears in regards to this um connection we have king of pentacles so with king of pentacles here i feel definitely a hope here is to be in a committed relationship you know the king of pentacles no matter your gender or this person's gender the king of pentacles along with the queen of pentacles talks about you know commitment talks about a stable partner so you do hope that you know maybe this person if they're the one focused on their career that they will get a lot of success in their career maybe if it's you you hope that you'll get a lot of success in your career or both of you will here and so yeah I feel like it's a lot about hope for success in career and money and also hope for commitment here in this connection having a stable connection then the outcome for this connection, you have Six of Cups. All right, so for the outcome, since this is an important card here, I'm going to pull some clarifiers once again. For the outcome of this connection, this is based off of, you know, the present, based off of where things are going with this connection. So let me clarify real quick.
All right, so what will be the outcome here of this connection? So with the Six of Cups, you also got even judgment. So for some of you here, it may be that this is someone from your past who you're either separated from, maybe an ex, or you're just, you know, not in communication. I did kind of mention that earlier. Or in some kind of separation. In that case, for the outcome, you'll definitely reunite here with both the Six of Cups and the Judgment card. These cards both talk about someone from your past coming back. So if that is your situation, I'm seeing that for the outcome. If maybe you're not separated or, you know, this is not someone from your past, that sort of thing. I feel like this talks about still like a sense of renewal here and a sense of definitely joy and happiness, you know, for all of you here, you know, whether this is someone from your past or an ex or not, definitely a lot of happiness, you know, feeling like this connection is really blossoming and definitely love here as the outcome. I feel that you're you know, going to both feel that love endures that, like this card says, love does not give up or lose faith. Love, love is hopeful and withstands every situation. So yeah, no matter what has happened in the past or what has happened recently, you know, presently, or even what may happen in the future, you're going to feel like this love has endured. You're going to feel like you can really focus on love here. You know, see the good in each other, see the good in the situation. And with the not for you card here with this card I feel like there may be a feeling you know as the outcome that maybe something isn't for you or feeling like there may be something isn't meant to happen but I feel like this is advice to you know not have that mindset to have a mindset as you know anything can happen and mindset as you know you deserve Maybe this connection, you deserve love, those sort of things. You know, having that kind of mindset rather than having the mindset of, you know, like, oh, I don't deserve, deserve, sorry, oh, I don't deserve this. This may also be a mindset that this, that this person has. Sorry, I'm really struggling with my words, talking too fast. But then we have retreat. And so I feel like you and this person will kind of retreat together, may, maybe get married with these people being in, like, you know, wedding dress and a tux here. But I feel like you will retreat together you know, enjoy your time together, have really something blossom here, like a love connection blossom here, because your love for each other will endure here through, you know, anything here. So yeah, I think that is really all I have to say for those of you who chose option number three. Thank you so much for watching this reading. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe. Bye!